in my opinion, the best ways to respond in conversation is basically kind of restating what the person just told you, but in more or less your own words. A lot of times when people are in conversations, they're just thinking about what they want to say next, and they're not really listening to the other person, or they interrupt them, or they... Uh, they, have you ever done this where you tell like a really long story that has a lot of meaning and it's, you know, it's, it might be something emotional uh, for you. You tell this story to the person and the person just responds with cool or that's nice. How shitty does that make you feel? Probably not great. And if you respond with these kind of casual one word answers that you could really say to anything, it shows you're not giving the person the time of day. It shows that you don't really think they matter. And these are very unattractive things if you are talking to a girl that does matter to you and you do want to sleep with. Okay, so I came up with uh, a list of kind of, I guess, four levels or four ma manners of responding to somebody. They all work in a certain way, but some are better than others, okay? And I'll go from the bottom, what I think is kind of, not the worst, but you know, they work, uh, but it gets better and better as you get higher up. So uh, the level one response, um, I would say, if someone tells you like a story or if they tell them a little bit about themselves, um, this is if like, you know, let's say you, you talk to someone at the bar or something like that, and then you go, you take them off to the side and you kind of have your own alone time. They tell you a little bit of a story, they tell you a little bit about them, um, then you respond with maybe something related to what they said. So uh, if they tell you they tell you how oh I really love this movie and they talk about the movie, then you respond with a movie that you really like and why you really like it. Now, if the movies if if the reasons why you like those two movies were similar and show and you showed that you really paid attention to to what she said because the reasons why you like them were, were really similar, then yeah, it could be a really good response. But I think in general this is again showing that you weren't really paying attention too much what you what what she said. You just heard that she really liked a movie and then immediately you thought, "Oh, I like this other movie that I'm going to tell her about." And then you didn't really pay attention too much to what she said after that. So, that's probably not to make a person feel as good as um, level two, which is repeating back what the person um, kind of said to you. So if a girl was telling me a story about how her family, her dad's from the South, and her mom comes from Europe, she comes from Switzerland or something like that, um, and they met in California, and that she goes and she travels to, to meet them, I could say, wow, so your parents uh, met in California and you go visit them a lot? That's, it sounds kind of silly when I say it, but trust me, if you, if you just repeat back to what the person said to you in conversation, you can actually get away with like almost fooling people uh, that you've been paying attention to them. If I'm being really lazy at the bar and I don't really give a fuck about what this person's telling me, sometimes I'll just repeat back like, you know, the words I remember the most um, during the conversation. And it, it usually works. I can usually get away with it. Um, but again, this is for the most basic if, you're, if your social skills aren't you think high enough to do uh, what I'm telling you, just repeating back part of what the person said to you or what the person said to you almost verbatim um, is totally fine. What you want to do, however, is you want to get to the point where you can kind of state what they said, but in your own words. So uh, with this same story about uh, this girl telling me that her, her dad is from the South and her mom is from Switzerland, they met in California and she goes to Europe in the South um, a lot to visit them. I, I could say... Um, wow, it sounds like you have a really uh, diverse family and that you go visit them a lot. Um, that's a little bit better because I said it in my own words. I said she has a diverse family as, as opposed to, wow, you know, your parents came from different spots, which is exactly what she told me. Um, but the even better one is you dig deep. So you think about what the person said. So remember in the last uh, video where I talked about listening, uh, where you take the second or two to think about it, I could instead say, wow, it sounds like you're really close to your family even though they come from different parts of the world. So what I did there was, obviously, if she's going to visit them a lot, it means that she, she her family's a big part of her life. And um, if they're a big part of her life, then she's probably really close to them. That's why she's going to visit them in these far-off areas, um, which aren't too easy to get to. You know, they take a lot of time and effort. She probably has to take time off to do it. She's, it's very apparent that she's close to her family, and that's why she's telling me about it. And the fact that I got that, that she's really close with her family, is not something that every guy that she goes out to is going to is gonna seize or is going to get from her. I guarantee you that probably only 1% or less than that is uh, going to be 
uh, it, she's going to meet a guy that's that's going to notice that about her. And that's what I mean when responding is a really good tool to show that you not only pay attention to that person, um, but that they matter to you and you understand them. Girls want a guy who understands them. And if you can show this in conversation, dude, you're going to be at the 0.1% of guys um, that are up there just killing it. And I really think that this is a skill that most people should talk about. They don't definitely don't talk about this enough in the pickup community, but it's a skill that everyone should have. And I think that, uh, you should work on it if you can. So do what I said. Um, when you're responding, make sure to show, show that you've listened to the person and do it in a way, uh, by getting to the, the core of what they're saying, you know, restate, restate what they told you in your own words. Um, in the next video, I'll probably talk about uh, questions that she can ask, which really, uh, which which allow you to the opportunity to respond and listen to them. Because a lot of times, when you first meet someone, it's just kind of hard to get them to talk to you. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions about this in the comments section below, or if there's any way that I can improve this channel. And uh, yeah, good luck out there.